Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us on this session on how to order and activate an electronic collection from the Community Zone. This is Yoel Kortik, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris. We're going to look very briefly at this PowerPoint, just at two slides. There's a link to this full PowerPoint in the description in this YouTube video, so you can view this PowerPoint, which also goes through all of the steps which we're going to show today. So what will we be doing today? First of all, we're going to be ordering an electronic collection which exists in the Community Zone, which we do not already have in our institution, in the repository of our Alma institution. In this example, we'll be both ordering and activating the electronic collection, both ordering it with a purchase order line and activating it so that it will be able to be accessed by the end user in Discovery. However, note that it's also possible to only activate an electronic collection and not also order it. The prerequisite here is that we have a vendor in Alma from whom we will order the electronic collection, and we have a fund that we will use to do the actual ordering. In this example, the electronic collection which we will be ordering is Caribbean literature from the ProQuest platform. We're going to make sure that we don't already have it. Then we're going to find it in the community zone. After we find it in the community zone, we'll order it and activate it. So let's jump right in and take a look. So here I am in Alma, and we'll do an electronic collection search, and we'll search for that Caribbean literature electronic collection. And note that we're searching for this in the institution, in the institution, and we see that we do not have it. So now we'll change the scope to search the community. And if we search the community, we'll see that it exists in the community zone. Here it is. There's no links here. Note, we're going to see that there will be a link later, meaning that we already have activated it and have it in our institution. We do not have it yet. We'll come here to the action items and we'll order. We stated at the beginning that it's possible also to only activate it. And if that were the case, if we wanted to only activate it, we would click the activate button here. So we'll click order. And this is going to open up the purchase order line flow for creating the order. So we'll order an electronic collection one time. There's various types of orders. We're going to do a one time. And the owner will be the main library. We could also fill everything in using a template. So now when we create the purchase order line, some fields will already be filled in because we've chosen a template. When the purchase order line opens, we'll see that we have a vendor named ProQuest because that's what's already in the template. And we'll see we already have a fund. So here's the vendor, the material supplier, ProQuest. Uh, and here's our fund. We'll give it a price, whatever the vendor would tell us is the cost, and we're ready to go now. So now we'll say order now, and we'll order the purchase order line. Confirm. Purchase order line 644, it said. Here it is, the order process. The order now process for purchase order line 644 has been submitted, and now there's an order. If we search the order lines, for Caribbean literature, we should see it. Let's take a look. Here it is. This is the purchase order line for Caribbean literature from ProQuest. We can see it's already been sent and it has a purchase order. Now if we again do the electronic collection search that we did a moment ago for Caribbean literature in the institution, now we see that we do have it in the institution. Note the icon here, the people icon, which says click to view the record in the community. That will jump us to the community zone. And note that the color of the icon is gray. That means we have it, but it's not yet activated. We could also see it's not yet activated. If we return to the order lines and search for Caribbean literature, it says here not activated resource. Also, if we search for this electronic collection in the community, like we did previously, we'll see also that we have a gray icon. This time it will be a gray icon of a picture of a house, 
meaning it's linked to the institution. And because it's gray, it's not yet activated. So let's activate it now. There's several ways to activate it. One way, which is recommended, is via the resources and the manage electronic resource activation. This is what's called the electronic resource activation task list. And the one which we just ordered will be in the unassigned tab. As soon as a user comes and does something with this, it'll move to the assigned to me tab, the assigned to whichever user is doing something with this electronic collection. So here we have various options of what we can do with this electronic collection. And we're going to choose activate because we want to activate it. Typically, we won't want to immediately activate something that we've ordered because it takes time to get the order to the vendor and have the vendor provide access. So under the full text service, we're going to say activate this electronic collection, make the service available, the service being a full text, and automatically activate new portfolios. That automatically activate new portfolios means that if new portfolios get added to this electronic collection, they too will automatically be activated. We don't need to deal with making sure that new portfolios get activated. We're activating this from the community zone, so everything that happens in the community zone will automatically happen in our institution. That's the advantage of activating it from the electronic collection. For example, if Purchase, if portfolios get added or removed or URLs change, it'll automatically get changed in our institution. So we'll go through the wizard. We're saying activate all of the complete electronic collection. We could select specific portfolios, but we don't want to do that. We want to activate all of them and we'll say activate. This now sends a job to Alma to activate the electronic collection. This had over 500 portfolios, so now the job is running and it will activate all of the portfolios in that electronic collection. They will be published automatically to Discovery, to our, in our case, Primo, and then an end user will be able to search for and find all of the portfolios of this electronic collection. Let's take a look at some of those portfolios in this electronic collection while it's being activated. So let's go back again and search for Caribbean literature. And here it is. Let's take a look also in the community. And we see that this has 573 portfolios. If we click here, we'll get a list of those 573 portfolios. So all of these will be available in Discovery for the end user. If we come and we search, for example, for the Age of Rainmakers against linearity, these are part of the electronic collection, and they will be available for the end user in Discovery. The job that's running now, we can see, if we come to Admin, Monitor Jobs, and here in the Running tab, we see that the job is still running. If we refresh, we see it's still running. And when it finishes, we see it in the history tab. Here is the job, electronic activation job, Caribbean literature, completed successfully. So now if we again come and do a search here in the institution for Caribbean literature, we will see an icon, which is now, in the community, it's not gray anymore. It's light blue. That means it's been activated. And if we search for this in the institution, we'll see the people icon, blue, meaning it's activated, and linked to the community. Again, in the community, we see a house icon, which means it's linked to our institution. And in the institution, we see the people icon, meaning it's linked to the community, and the reason it's blue in both of these cases is because it's been activated. And here we have the portfolio list. And let's go now into Primo and take a look at one of these portfolios. The denting of a wave, for example. So we'll come into Discovery. I'll sign in. 
Typically, unless something is free or has some kind of special access, typically a user needs to be logged in. I'm logged in here as Alicia Hen. And let's search for that, the denting of a wave. And here it is, and it says available online. And here we see that it's part of the collection Caribbean Literature. We'll click on that link. And provided we're a user group who has access and provided everything is set up for the access to work, we will have access to this portfolio, this title, which is part of the collection. So right now it's resolving the link. And now here we are and we have access. Let's do another example. Let's take Crown Point and Other Poems, Crown Point and Other Poems. Crown Point and Other Poems. And it too has been activated. It is available. We click the link for the available online. We see that it's Caribbean literature. That's the collection. We click on that collection. And again, we will see that we have access. And here we are. Thank you very much for joining us. And we hope to see you in our future sessions as well.